the last two weeks we've been working on graphs and there's three different types of graphs that we've looked at um who can say the first graph we've looked at a picture graph very good that was the first graph that we learned about then what kind of graph did we learn about the bar graph and then what have we worked on the last two days a tally chart very good so we're going to do the same thing today except it is going to give us a story and we're going to have to read that story carefully in order to put the information on the graph correctly now we have seen in the past not necessarily on our charts or our graphs that we've learned but before that even when we read a story it does not necessarily give us all the information right out sometimes we have to figure out that information okay so that's going to be one of these times that we're going to have to really read and pay attention to all of the words to make sure that we are completing it correctly so let's take a look at this story it says brad sees many animals at the park how can you find how many animals brad sees does it tell us any information no it doesn't give us any numbers so what are we supposed to put on our chart no. Until we um, figure it out. Well, how are we going to figure it out? Well, so for the animals that we saw, and then we write them on our chart. Okay, so where are you looking to find that information? Up at the top of the screen. At uh, the top of what? The, at the top of the paper. Okay, what are you looking at at the top of the paper? All the animals Brad sees. Do you see this? Whoops. Do you see this? That's where we get our information. So it may not necessarily tell us everything, but we need to be able to solve it on our own. So please get out your top colorful page and a crayon. What are we trying to find? What are all those things called all together? Animals. Very good. We are trying to find the animals. You are exactly right though that we are trying to look at the um, birds, the deer, and the rabbits. So we need to look at the rabbits and count how many those are and put them on our graph. We need to look at the birds and count those and then put that many or that number on the graph. And we also need to look at the deer. Okay. Are there any other animals in our picture? No, no. no, there's not. Oh, what do you see on your graph? What's the first thing you see on your graph? I see the title. Very good. We see a title. Are we going to have to label it sometimes? Yeah. Let's read the label or the title for this um, graph. Animals Brad sees. Is that a good title? I completely agree. Did they say rabbits Brad sees? No. Why not? Because there's because no rabbits. Good. You're exactly right. He didn't just see rabbits. He saw animals. Okay. What are these over here? What's that for? It's just a label. So it's, it's a label. So you know what they are. So we're wanting to put the animals here. Did they already put the animals in for us? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. What do these numbers mean? It means how many there are. How many animals there are. So they labeled it number of anim animals. Now, are we ready to color? Okay. Look up here for the rabbits and color for each rabbit you see. Go ahead and color with your crayon for each rabbit you see. I like to see first graders staying nice and organized. Great job. <coughs> now what are we going to look at next? The birds. So look up at your picture and color <coughs> in each box for however many birds you see. Yes, we 
we are going back to a bar graph. Thank you for pointing that out. We ha are doing a bar graph right now. How did we know to do a bar graph instead of a picture graph? Because they're because they're squares and mm -hmm. and usually for bar graphs, um, I see <coughs> much, I see that um they're close to get together and the direction they to get around. <coughs> okay, very good. And I saw that you were pointing to the numbers. Usually on a bar graph, they have those numbers written down there below. And so we know that we're going to expect a bar graph. With the picture graph, those necessarily weren't there. Okay? And he was right that we see squares. And so normally, if it were a tally chart, those squares wouldn't be there. So there's a couple of clues that tell us that this is going to be a bar graph. Excellent job, first grade. Okay, now what are we doing? We're going to do the deer. Okay, you're going to have to count the deer. So it's wanting to know how many animals Brad sees. So we've organized our charts to see what animals he saw, but that isn't counting all of the animals. So I want to add them together. How many bird or how many rabbits did he see? Three. Three. So I want you to write three in another sentence. How many birds did he see? Six. So I want you to write that in the number of sentence. Is this an equal sign? No. No. Why not? We are adding more. We still need to add more. What do we need to add to it? How many deer there are. So write how many deer there are on this line. Now I see an equal sign. Now I can put them all together. And I want you to write your answer here. Okay, go ahead and do that without telling your neighbor. I'm glad for those who already have that answer and have that in their brain. Thank you. Okay, so do you see how we took the information and we put it on the graph to answer our question. Does everyone see that? That's what we're going to be doing today.